in today's video, I uh, woke up and was going to hit the road running, and Gertie didn't start. So I pulled into this Texaco. I slept at a Walmart in Flowood, Mississippi, and pulled into Texaco Station and got some coffee and hopped right in Gertie and tried to put her in reverse. She would have none of it. None of it. So I walked over to the um, auto parts store, which just happened to be like two stores up. And the guy came over and he was real nice and um, checked to tip my taillights. I called my mechanic and he said that the taillight fuse might be out and it won't go in reverse or for something like that. So we checked that out. He looked at my fuses and they all look good. Gertie is a little temperamental and can be difficult at times. Um, we're a match made in heaven, really. Not that I'm ever difficult or anything like that, but um, yeah. She finally went into reverse and we ended up having a nice day. Um, I did a lot that day, um, mostly driving. Um, we stopped by the Petrified um, Mississippi Museum and that'll be in this video. Very cool to me. Um, I'm just a geek like that. I love geology. Um, and so that'll be in the video. And Sandra was also having a bad day and gave me wrong directions. I don't know what was up with her, but she was having an off day too. We all have them. Um, it's part of life. Um, so yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. I woke up this morning at Walmart in Flowood, Mississippi, and I'm heading up to the Natchez Trace Overlook, and this is one of the reservoirs. It's super beautiful. I'm on Spillway, um, and I will let you know what reservoir this is when I find the sign again, but it's really very pretty. It's a beautiful day. Gertie gave me a little bit of a scare this morning, though. I went to the Texaco station and pulled face forward into a parking space, and she would not go in reverse. She was being super stubborn. I mean, she finally did, but it was real scary. So, Gertie, you need to cooperate with me now. We're going to have a good time, but you can't be giving me gray hairs. You're already gray. I don't need to be. All right, y'all. I just got over um, past the reservoir, and I know that Overlook Park is over here. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Rice Road. Sandra, you have really messed me up this morning. You're telling me to go in this big circle, and I'm not going to do it. So, I'm looking at the map. Turn right onto Rice Road, then turn left onto Tidewater Lane. I will not turn left on Tidewater Lane. Because that's not where it says. It says that Natchez Trace crosses the street. And I'll be making a right onto Natchez Trace. Right up here. In just short order. It says the map. It says they cross. So. I'm not doing all this stuff you're telling me to go back in this neighborhood here. She already told me to go back in here. I don't think Turn it's left onto Tidewater Lane. It's this freaking neighborhood. I'm not doing that. And the speed bump's back there. On She told me to turn on this street. What? Sandra, what are you thinking? Where's your heads at? She has either has not had her cup of coffee this morning or she's having some personal issues, but she's not telling me the right way to go. So. Parkway. Um, so I think our overlook is going to be coming up soon somewhere. So this is Natchez Trace. It is pretty out here. However, when I googled it, there was like a house and a bridge. I don't see any of that here. We're going to go read this on and see what it says. Mm. 
morning. I'm doing good. How are you? Trying to find the house they showed on the um, their website. The old home. Yeah. I think it's the. the I didn't ride up in this thing since I was a little kid, and I want to say it's up here on the left. It's a, it, it used to be a visitor center. They used to have all kind of Indian like. Indian yeah. In there and, uh huh. And uh, like a little shop you could buy the rings and stuff. And I didn't see anything anything anywhere about like an arrow to go to it or anything. Yeah, it's literally if you get back on this road, uh -huh. you go like maybe less than five miles. It it's nothing anymore. That I don't. I oh don't really? Oh maybe that's why. It didn't. All right, well, I'm on to Mississippi Petrified Forest. Y'all have a great day. <laughs> Where's that at? That's the, that's the... So this section here is part of the original trail that the Indians used. See how it's sunken in? You probably can't see from here, but let me see if I can get down there. You're not, I think you're not supposed to go across this little barricade, but I think I can walk around this way. Let's go check it out. So see how this trail is kind of sunken in here. This is the old original trail. That's pretty cool. There's another little sunken section there. It goes over back around there. Awesome. Got to take the stairs this time. <laughs> the other spot was just an overlook, so you can see how it's sunken in. Cool beans! And this is the trace today. Head southwest on Natchez Trace Parkway. I don't even know what to say about you today. All right, let's see what we can see here. We've got a very nice little area for picnics. And there's a campground up there. You want to camp? Let's go check it out. <gasps> Look before we even get in the bicentennial log. Look out the look at the entrance to this place. It's pretty awesome before we even get in. Are different samples that looks like a geode. They've inlaid some of the specimens in the brick. Look at that, it's a dinosaur track, I think. Oh, that's so cool, or it could be a lizard, I don't know, but it's cool. Check it. I have to ask what that is. Oh, we psyched. Let's go. All right, guys, I have my Mississippi trail guide. She says it's a loop. I forget how long she said it was. Um, it was landmarked in 1966 by the National Park Service. All the petrified logs on the trail are positioned just as nature has placed them. Yeah, super excited. And then she said they got a great little um, museum at the end. So let's go. Look at the growth rings. That's so cool. Yeah, it's stone. It's beautiful. I'm going to read about each one. I'm not going to bore you guys with the whole thing, but it looks super cool. <laughs> I'm totally stoked. <laughs> 